Well, good morning. It's blowing like the clappers here. Uh, we're just under the lee of the island of Alce in Denmark. We've had a bit of a dusting coming across the little belt just now, uh, but the wind's just dropped right back because we're in the lee. We're down to about 18 knots now and it's very comfortable. We're reefed down for, uh, well, we're reefed for bear, as you can probably see, but uh, all is well. What I want to do is just talk to you for a few minutes about the way I've got my electronic instruments set up, because these days there are so many options that these marvellous things can do for you. And uh, it can be a bit bamboozling, and I've been working with these particular set all summer now for about three months solidly on the boat, and I've got them just where I want them. So I thought I'd just share that with you. Okay, this is what we've got. Right, we've got three instruments uh, displays here, uh, plus autopilot, plus the uh, side bow thruster, which ha, with my sort of boat I wouldn't want to be without in tight marinas these days, but that's another story. Um, the autopilot is pretty much self-explanatory. The controls are here and they're what you would expect with a modern autopilot. We have uh, all the readout for the autopilot is on this instrument. It's dedicated, I've got it set up and that's it. It's telling me what the heading is, it tells me uh, how much helm I've got on. You see at the moment there's a little bit of weather helm on there, which I'd expect because I've actually got the Genoa rolled right up uh, because, uh, because of the wind we've just been having. So we're sailing under reef main and staysail, giving me a little bit of weather helm. I can see that and I can monitor it and it's great. Uh, and we're trickling along nicely. Now then, let's come to this one. Because this is, this, is, uh, this is my favourite instrument really. I've got all sorts of stuff going on here. At the moment, this is the, this is the sailing mode. This is so you can see what's going on when you're sailing. It's just great. Because what I really enjoy is the fact that I've got apparent wind and true wind graphically displayed on the same instrument. I can see how much I'm pulling the apparent wind forward. I can also see the difference between the true wind and the apparent wind speed. You can set all this up, but this is the way I've got it set. I can see my apparent wind angle. I know that when that dips down towards 35 degrees, I'm running out of steam and I've got to think again or tack. Uh, at the moment it's well out and you can see how far out it is. It's perfect really. Blowing about, uh, well, 20, 22 knots and we're rattling along at a grand speed. Everything I need for the wind is there. Now if I press this button, I get something else altogether. The next thing I get is boat speed which is showing me 6.7 knots at the moment. I actually know, as I'll show you in a minute, that my speed over the ground is 7.3, which means I've got a jolly good fair current, for which I'm very grateful. I've got depth on there as well, just to, uh, just to remind me if I need something else, it's handy to have. The next one, and this one is terrific. It gives me my position in lat long if I want it. Three decimal points, well that's a bit of a joke, isn't it? Uh, all modern GPS units seem to do that. And uh, the, the decimal point at the end is about the width of this cockpit, so I wish you joy with that. But uh, the, the next two points are good. Uh, down here, I've got it set up so that I've got my course over the ground and my waypoint bearing. That's exactly what you want to know at a glance when you're steering the boat. Uh, we want to get to that waypoint. Uh, I've checked up, there's nothing in the way on, on, on a waypoint bearing of 299. It's absolutely safe. Um, and my course over the ground is currently 303, which means a small alteration will bring me there. Well, I'm not going to do that now because it's perfectly safe. We're OK. Um, I've got my speed over the ground again, and I've got my distance to the waypoint. Very, very handy. Next one. <laughs> I love this one. This is my depth. Blowing great big letters. If I'm coming into harbour and I'm doubting you about the depth, and in Denmark you often are because it's pretty thin around here, the water, I've got a sucking great read out there that I cannot miss. So I love that one. And that, of course, is set to read depth of water. None of this nonsense about depth under keel and a bit to spare for good luck. Forget that. If you're a proper navigator, what you want to know is the depth of water. The depth of water, because that's what it says on the chart and you can adjust it for tide and you know where you are. It's a, it's a navigational tool, it's not a get out of jail free card. And then we're back to the wind again. So that is a really, really useful instrument. This one here, I've got set permanently. I could have lots of other things on it, but I'm happy enough with this uh, because I've got the course over the ground, which I really want to know at any time because I'm aware of what the bearing to the waypoint is if I haven't pressed that one. I've also got the speed over the ground, which is, which is critical. 
6.8 here. I'm amazed that we're going that fast, really, because we're reefed right down and uh, the wind's dropped under the lee of the island here. But we're going along fine, so that's OK. I've got a depth reading, so that I can always refer to the depth if I haven't got it up on, on the other one. And I've got the true wind speed. I always, you know, the true wind speed is really great for me. It's more important than the apparent wind speed. For an apparent, for a, a racing sailor, apparent wind's probably what he wants because he's got to decide uh, whether he's got to change down his head sail, reef his mane, or anything else. And that'll help him with that. But for me, I want to know how hard it's really blowing. That's helpful to me, so I always have the true wind speed up. If I'm lying in my bunk and I want to just peer over and I look at the plotter, the true wind speed is up on every single page, so I can see how hard it's blowing. There we go. So that's my instruments. That's the way I've got them set up at the moment. You know, I spent a lot of my life at sea with no instruments at all in uh, traditional gaff cutters with uh, a wooden truck at the masthead and a bird G flying, no wind instruments, distance run and speed measured from a walker log trailing out behind with a, with, a, with a rotating spinner on the end. Wonderful thing, really. And I was content enough with that. I always used to think, oh, these guys with all these instruments, what are they playing at? Why do you need all that stuff? Well, really, in a cruising boat, Apart from the echo sounder, you, re you don't really need it, but it is just so much better to have it. I've, I've been quite amazed at how having this array of instruments has refined my understanding of what I've been seeing with my own eyes for a lifetime. It's, it's helped me a lot, and I really enjoy it. So, so there we go. I'm pleased life's moved on. I'm pleased to have it all, and um, I'm pleased the wind's dropped a bit too because I shall be in by lunchtime.